वॉट इज ए सिस्टम वेन ए नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स और कॉम्पोनेंट्स आर कनेक्टेड इन ए सीक्वेंस टू परफॉर्म ए स्पेसिफिक फंक्शन द ग्रुप ऑफ एलिमेंट्स दैट ऑल कंस्टिट्यूट ए सिस्टम वॉट इज कंट्रोल सिस्टम इन ए सिस्टम द आउटपुट एंड इनपुट्स आर इंटर रिलेटेड इन सच ए मैनर दैट द आउटपुट क्वान्टिटी और वेरिएबल इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय इनपुट क्वान्टिटी then such a system is called as control system the output quantity is called controlled variable or response and the input quantity is called command signal or excitation what is a zero of the system zero of a function f of s is a value at which the function f of s becomes zero where f of s is a function of complex variables what is pole of the system pole of a function f of s is the value at which the function f of s becomes infinite where f of s is a function of the complex variables what are the test signals and their significance the knowledge of the input signal is required to predict the response of the system in most of the systems input signals are not known ahead of the time and it is also difficult to express the input signals mathematically by simple equations in such cases determining the performance of the system is not possible test signals helps in predicting the performance of the system as the input signals which we give are known hence we can see the output response of the system for a given input and can understand the behavior of the control system the commonly used test signals are impulse ramp step signals and sinusoidal signals what how time response of the system is divided the time response of the system consists of two parts first transient state response second steady state response transient response of the system explains about the response of the system when the input changes from one state to the other steady state response of the system shows the response as a time t approaches the infinity what is time response of the control system time response of the control system is defined as the output of the closed loop system as a function of time time response of the system can be obtained by solving the differential equations governing the system or time response of the system can also be obtained by transfer function of the system what is the effect of positive feedback on stability of the system positive feedback is not used generally in the control system because it increases the error signal and drives the system to instability but positive feedbacks are used in minor loop control systems to amplify certain internal signals and parameters what is the use for cable entry in control room in the process plant control room built considering the non hazardous area so in case if fire explosion takes place in the plant then that has to be restricted from entering into the control room so mct multiple cable transient blocks are used why negative feedback is preferred in the control systems the role of feedback in control system is to take sampled output back to the input and compare output signal with input signal for error like deviation from the desired results negative feedback results in the better stability of the system and rejects any disturbance signals and is less sensitive to the parameter variations hence in control systems negative feedback is considered what is a feedback in control system the feedback in control system in which the output is sampled and 
proportional signal is fed back to the input for automatic correction of the error. Any change in desired output for further processing to get back to the desired results. What are the different types of control systems? There are two major types of control systems. They are open loop control systems. The open loop control system is one in which the output quantity has no effect on the input quantity. No feedback is present from the output quantity to the input quantity for correction. Closed loop control system. The closed loop control system is one in which the feedback is provided from the output quantity to the input quantity for the correction so as to maintain the desired output of the system. What is order of the system? Order of the system is defined as the order of the differential equation governing the system. Order of the system can be determined from the transfer function of the system. Also the order of the system helps in understanding the number of poles of the transfer function. For nth order system for a particular transfer function contains n number of poles. Explain mechanical translation system. Model of mechanical translation system can be obtained by using three basic elements mass, spring and dashpot. Weight the mechanical system is represented by mass and is assumed to be concentrated at the center of body. The elastic deformation of the body can be represented by the spring. Friction existing in a mechanical system can be represented by dashpot. What is mathematical model of a control system? Control system is a collection of physical elements connected together to serve an objective. The output and input relations of various physical system are governed by differential equations. Mathematical model of a control system constitutes sets of differential equations. The response of the output of the system can be studied by solving the differential equations for various input conditions. What is S domain and its significance? By taking Laplace transform for differential equation in the time domain equations in S domain can be obtained L of f of t equals f of s. S domain is used for solving the time domain differential equations easily by applying the Laplace for the differential equations. What is signal flow graph? A signal flow graph is a diagram that represents a set of simultaneous linear algebraic equations. By taking Laplace transform, the time domain differential equations governing a control system can be transferred to a set of algebraic equations in S domain. The signal flow graph of the system can be constructed using these equations. What is phase margin? The phase margin is the amount of additional phase lag at the gain cross over frequency required to bring the system to the verge of instability. What is gain margin? The gain margin is defined as the reciprocal of the magnitude of open loop transfer function at phase cross over frequency. The gain margin indicates the amount by which the gain of the system can be increased without affecting the stability of the system. What is the phase cross over frequency? The frequency at which the phase of the open loop transfer function is 180 is called the phase cross over frequency. What is cutoff rate? The slope of the log magnitude curve near the cutoff frequency is called the cutoff rate. The cutoff rate indicates the ability of the system to distinguish between the signal and the noise. 
what is resonant frequency the frequency at which resonant peak occurs is called the resonant frequency the resonance frequency explains about the speed of the transient response where servo mechanism is used servo mechanism is used in control system where the output is pertained to vary the mechanical position of a device servo mechanism is widely used in governor value position control mechanism used in the power plants where speed of the turbine is taken and processed using the transducers and final control element is bought as mechanical movement of the value nowadays governor value control is done with electronic controls using power thyristors servo mechanism is also widely used in the robotic hand movements what is the basic rule for block diagram reduction technique the rules of the block diagram reduction techniques are designed in such a manner that any modifications made in the diagram will not alter the input and input relation of the system what is time invariant system time invariant system is one in which the input and output characteristics of the system does not change with time define transfer function transfer function of a control system is defined as ratio of laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of the input with zero initial conditions transfer function is defined as the laplace transform of impulse response of the system with zero initial conditions what are the basic components of the feedback control system the basic components of the feedback control system are process system open loop system feedback path element error detector and controller what are the characteristics of negative feedback negative feedback in a control system has following characteristics reduction in the gain at the expense of better stability of the system rejection of disturbance signals in the system low sensitivity to parameter variations accuracy in tracking the steady state value